If we want to start using our home media server, first, we got to quiet it down with one of these. Why? Well, listen. Yeah, we got to stop that. But first, I'm going to go over some of the stuff that we need. First and foremost, we're going to need a Dell PowerEdge T610 870 watt power supply. Uh, that's the culprit. Then we're going to use a not to a 60 millimeter fan as a replacement with PWM. Then we're going to need an adapter, five pin to four pin, some heat shrinks, a lighter, uh, I don't care where you get that, some solder, and soldering iron, of course. Oh, yeah, and uh, can't forget the wire strippers, of course. We need those. All right, let's take it apart, but first, don't forget to remove any jewelry you have on. First, take a Phillips head screwdriver and start removing the screws. They're the same size, so they should be hard to lose. Just keep them somewhere safe for now. As the kids say, you just want to go ham. <laughs> Here's a quick little life hack for you. Uh, usually I see that uh, people that want to get into IT, uh, they end up buying a lot of expensive equipment, but in reality, you can just go to a pawn shop or a thrift store and you can find some decent equipment there for very cheap i got these for about five bucks you like jazz because we're going to be here for a little bit As we strip away the shell, we can see the meat exposed within the carcass. Now we can get our greasy paws on that annoying little fan. Gently tug and the fan will eventually come loose. And there she is. Remember, when working with electronics, you have to be very careful with touching the cables and capacitors. They can stay charged for a long time and cause serious bodily harm, even if they are not plugged into a power source. That right there is a proprietary four pin connector. The reason that we have to change the fan and solder it is because normal four pin connectors have industry standard and not the proprietary ones that Dell uses. So in order to have the connector fit, we have to solder the end of the adapter to that. size difference there. On the left, you're too you've low. got too the four-pin connector industry standard, and on the right, you have Dell's proprietary. Simply cut off the connector. Wrong side. Just kidding. Little joke there. The blue wire is the power control for the fan. Some places on the internet will tell you to cut the blue wire because it will slow down the fan and quiet them. Though this is technically true, this confuses the computer's BIOS and causes a number of issues with RPM management which can result in the fans actually getting louder and faster instead of quieter. We tested this for you so you didn't have to. Remember, 90% of the facts you get on the internet are false.
In this case, rewiring the fan should be easy. Red, yellow, blue, and black are the colors for both the Dell fan and my replacement fan. Now very slowly and passionately, grab your heat shrinks and start to slide them on the longer end of the wires. There, you can attach them before we irreversibly fuse the wires together. Forget to give yourself enough room to work with. Unlike me and Pookie, we got a little too excited and cut the cables a little too short, particularly, that's right, the blue wire. It was his idea. This was Pookie's idea. It was his. Now slide your heat shrinks to the exposed wire, take your lighter, apply a little bit of heat, and watch it shrink. That should finish up our Frankenstein's wire. And now for the fan. It's got these rubber studs in them that should be easy enough to remove with a little bit of force, and the replacement fan should just cozy right on in there and fit into the mounting bracket. We had one of these cooking overnight and, well, yours should look just like this. Now plug your Noctua fan into the modified adapter and plug the adapter into the PSU and that should fit just perfectly. Behold the fruits of your labor. So, a couple of things to note about the build. Number one. It's very easy to put back together if you disassembled it it's very easy to reassemble everything just kind of fits and it just works number two the fan connector should fit fine and you got to push a little bit hard onto the bottom pins just to make sure that they stay in place but once you got it it's not coming out and number three this video was really only rated for Dell's 870 watt power supplies, not the 570 ones. The 570 watt power supplies come with tamper proof uh, studs that you can't really take out. Um, in fact, you can't take it out. Not only that, but the encasement uh, is just one piece of metal. So that being said, 
I hope you only have an 870 watt. Uh, if you have the 571s, they should be fine and they shouldn't be too loud. All right. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by and watching the video. Hope you had fun. Next, we are going to tackle the iDrag system and quiet down those pesky fans. Because if you thought that the power supply fans were loud, it took us forever to figure out those iDrag fans. But we got it figured out, and we didn't even have to replace the fans. Thanks, everyone.